Hi, it's me again, the preacher from the Philippines. And again, if this is your first time watching my videos, let me just introduce to you myself. I am Mr. Roland Perez. I am a preacher. I am a senior pastor, ordained minister when I was only 17 years old. I went to Bible College. I took a Bachelor of Arts. And I have 36 years of experience studying, delivering, preaching the words of God. I am a crusader, revivalist. I'm a missionary, teacher, missionary. So I'm, I'm messaging all of you, watching my videos, subscribers and viewers, that I know what I'm talking about. My message reasons why all unbelievers are bound in hell for eternity. There is a reason for that. God will not cast you to hell for no reason at all. From Lapmatic is Pope John Paul II is in hell right now. Why would the loving God send him to hell? Is Jesus dark skinned, light, or Chinese? Mr. Rabmatic, listen very carefully. I've been explaining this to all of you that anybody who doesn't believe and deny God, anybody who does not accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, is indeed bound in hell for eternity. Yes! My answer is yes! Not only Pope John Paul II, all the popes who died, all the Catholic priests, cardinals and bishops who died and did not accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior are surely 100% in hell right now. I pity you, Mr. Atmatic. Why will the loving God send somebody to hell? I've been telling you. There is a reason for that. Number one reason the Bible says so. Romans chapter 3, verse 10. As it is written, all have seen and come short of the glory of God. All Romans 6 23 also says that the wages of sin is death. That is eternal separation from God. That is the wages. That is the consequence of not believing in God. We are all sinners, Mr. Abmatic, in the sight of God. We are all lost. We need a Savior. That is why God, in His mercy, Send his only begotten son. John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him will not die. Will not go to hell. But will have eternal life. But you are so full. You keep on deceiving yourself. Let me give, give an example. This is the story of of this gracious and merciful king. There were three notorious criminals who were sentenced to die. Before the morning that they will die, God sent, or this uh, king sent his, one of his soldiers to tell them because of his love and mercy the king decided to give them another chance. They will not die. So, the soldier went. And this criminal, uh, one of the criminals, a criminal A, did not believe. He even mocked the king. And the second criminal, the other criminal, criminal B, did the same. He did not believe the king, he even mocked and insulted the king. But the third one bowed down and he said, I am not worthy. I am a notorious criminal. 
But I accept the mercy, the forgiveness of the king. I believe. I believe in him. So that morning, the two criminals died. But the third one was released and was given another chance. Why? Because he believed the king. Same thing to all of you, unbelievers, mockers, and blasphemers of God. You are all full. God is offering you salvation, chances after chances. But now, instead of acknowledging that this great God, no, you even insult and mock him. What salvation awaits for all of you? Yes, God is a loving God. That is why He is giving all of you chances after chances to repent and acknowledge and bow down to this great God. During Noah's time, before God flooded this world, on, and only eight souls were saved. God gave them chances after chances. Noah was preaching for 100 years, almost, or more than 100 years. Telling them to repent, telling them to bow down and acknowledge God. But these people during Noah's time, instead of believing, instead of acknowledging the message of Noah, they did not. They even accused Noah of being a madman crazy God. Same thing with all of you now, it is. I am delivering to you the message that before God will cast you to hell. You still have chances after chances. All you have to do is repent, bow down, and acknowledge this great God. But no. You prepare to be burned in hell rather than bow down and accept this great God. Okay. Grey Pax 55 comment from my uh, last videos good news from the preacher the beginning is good but an ending sucked Grey Pax 55 and all of you monkers and unbelievers of God especially you you Abdul Jacob 188 you bad 06 P channel the Matic Muspiano. Saneki Maka, if you want me to mention your name every time I post a video, I will do it to let you know that you are damned for not believing in God. All of you! You are all damned. You want to hear lies after lies. You want me to flatter you. You want me to tell you that, yes, God is indeed a loving God. He will not cast you to hell because he is a loving God. You can blaspheme him, mocking him, deny him until you die. And if he exists, he will not send you to hell because he is a loving God. That's what you like to hear, isn't it? Or probably God does not exist, so you can do what you want to do. Oh my, you are all out of your mind. God will never tolerate one sin to enter into his kingdom. Okay. How is this? Chup Master. People and videos cannot be blasphemed because they are tangible objects. What are you talking about? People and videos cannot be blasphemed. You don't know what you're talking about. Just judge them out. And you too, Abdul Jacob 188. I'm telling you, but 06. I'm telling all of you, shut your mouth before God will cast you to hell. Shame on you, Abdul Jacob 188. You will be damned into the hottest part of hell. I'm telling you, blaspheming and mocking God. Who do you think you are anyway, Abdul Jacob 188? Who do you think you are? Damn and condemned to hell. To hell. Shame on you, shut him out! I pity all of you. Okay. Mo Bear. You're hate-filled, intolerant. If Jesus existed, he will be disappointed in you. I'll continue in my next video.